what is up guys today we are doing the first video on this channel so far and uh, today we're gonna be doing a full car review of this car right here it's a 2004 Chrysler Sebring and there's a kitty <laughs> this is not my cat but it is a very friendly cat of the trailer park so we're just gonna start off by giving a little tour around the exterior there's no really nicks and dents, but there is a lot of dirtiness, so the car needs a wash. Kitty's going to follow us through this thing. And uh, the grill has a couple scratch marks on it there. Hello, Kitty. Um, it's got a nice wide front, so that's good. Now, these headlights, these headlight shades are, are uh, like fogged over. I don't know, they just need cleaned, I guess. Same way over there. Then over here, there's no dents on the car. Uh, it's all clean here. Now, this hood here, there's a couple little nicks, like right there. You can see that. Just this one right here. There's a couple of those across the hood, but there's like, I don't know, I'd say about five, maybe seven. Uh, this is just mud here. This just needs washed. The tires are not new. These tires were put on about, mm, I'd say, like three years ago. There's no really, there's no rust down here, but there is a tiny bit of rust on the car, and I'll show you where that weak spot is. Uh, door is clean, no nicks here. There's just a nick right there, and that is a fly in my way. This is a little scratched up here. I don't know what happened. Maybe the previous owner uh, tried to keep just spots and there's nothing really else wrong with that uh, this over here this is just this is a scratch I know that for sure but it's very um, it's not really visible and uh, you could probably get that off pretty quick and it's going through there too but it's not really anything major not anything I've noticed and where the door shuts here there's a few nicks like right there and uh, this tire also the other one but if you can see in there right there just about two months ago this the owner of this car got uh, brand new shocks put on this this gas tank gas cap right there uh, I've covered up the license plate so I can show you back here you got the Subring and it's an LXI model uh, but if you can look here, the clear coat of the uh, badging is coming off. And you've got a really clear Chrysler logo there where you put the license plate. And uh, all these lights work. There's nothing wrong with it. There's a tiny little scratch right here. And, uh, this is a brand new tire actually. This is the only new tire on the car. It may not look new. It's probably just gotten dirty from driving around. There's the little weak spot of the rust. I'll show that to you in a minute. But here is another tiny dent or scratch. And then here's the scratch. You see all these scratches are very minor and they're very hard to notice. Uh, here's that little rust spot. It's not too big but you know that's going to take quite a few years before it starts to do anything if it's left outside. Uh, there's a couple of scratches and nicks here. Other than that, this door's clean. And then the hood, or this mirror has a couple scrapes on it. And then, as well as the fender. But, uh, it's a pretty clean car, actually. Uh, the inside needs a little clean. So, let's just show you this car real quick. Unlock it. I'm gonna come in here. Just sit down here. Now, this car, I guess you could say, here, let's shut this. I guess you could say it has somewhat low mileage. Here, let's, uh, uh, there's a fly. You can go, buddy. Goodbye. Uh, I, could guess you, I guess you could say it has somewhat low mileage for its year. It's a 2004. Steering's pretty good. Um, it needs clean, like I said. You just need to run the vacuum through here. You know, 
pedals work good and uh that's to pop the hood we'll do that in a few minutes uh these need cleaned out a little bit but uh yeah let's go ahead and get this car started see what it does we're not gonna drive it around considering i'm only a kid but there we go There we go, we're gonna turn the air down. And uh, as you can see here, the radio is very nice. We have air adjusters, air adjusting <laughs> knob. And with the air, you can adjust heating, and where you want the air and heating to go. This is also a defrost option, so that defrosts in the winter. And here's rear defrost. Uh, it also comes with a six CD changer, so you can put six CDs in there and it'll flip through them. And this car does not have an ashtray, uh, but it does have uh, steering to where you can adjust the steering wheel and here is just that that and then just flashers so yeah and then here we have the wipers like that the air conditioning vents are clean, really clean. Uh, the windows, the drivers is auto, so that's nice. Uh, this here, this is a little issue with this car. This is coming off a little bit, as well as over there. But in the front here, you get a nice wood trim, and then the airbags up there. Uh, here, you can, here, let's just. Turn that on. This, that turns it off. Turns you down. And then this adjust the base. In trouble. And then you just got your radio changing things there. And then if you have the CD, you can change it there. So, yeah. And, uh... I've just recently cleaned this car. I need to run the vacuum through it. But, yeah. So let's turn that off right there. And uh, this is cruise control here. Uh, you can set the cruise control on and off. And then you can uh, use this, these to uh, put it in sport mode, which will actually make the car go faster while you accelerate. So that's pretty cool. And then here you just have, you know, obviously your unlock button. What you do with the key? Uh, so that's pretty much all. You got the e-brake here as well. And then in here, I believe it's a mess, but I'll show you anyway. You got a little storage compartment there. And those cup holders I already showed you. Uh, the car itself... It doesn't overheat, so that's really good. Here, I wish I could focus. It doesn't overheat, so that's good. And uh, as you can see there, it ha here, let me redo. As you can see there, the car has 108,500 miles exactly. And uh, the speedometer shows 120 miles per hour, but this car's actual top speed uh, I just looked it up. I think it was like 147 miles per hour. And uh, here's your RPM. It's showing that I'm not buckled in, but obviously. And then it doesn't have much gas in it. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Horn definitely works great. You can hear that. It's a really nice horn. And, uh, yeah. Let's go check out the rest of the vehicle. So when we hop out here, close that door, close it nice and smooth. Back here, 
all these doors open fine. You've just got a black leather interior here and then black cloth. Like I said, I need to run the vacuum through here, but other than that, you know, it's a clean car and it's ready to go. Uh, that needs cleaned out too. And there's a kid's seat in the back. Uh, you've got speakers in the door and speakers back there plus your seat belts for the back and here's what it looks like sitting here if you were to hop in the car and then close the door like that you know you're just sitting here like this you can look up see everything in front of you and uh, you got pretty good space back here but uh, the owner has like really long legs, so that's the only reason this is back so far. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go uh, check out the other side of the car here. Quick, before we do that, we're going to head into the trunk here. Let's see this. Uh, you've got a ton of trunk space. It goes like way back, like past the car seat. It goes under that. And then uh, here's a spare tire here. It, I think it needs a new spare tire because that is really uh, flat and popped. And the reason for that is that there's a screw right in the middle of it. That's nice. And uh, there's a ton of trunk space here. And then under here is where your spare would have gone if, uh, you know. And uh, one thing that is wrong with this model, I will be honest. Uh, there's a, just a little tiny thing back here where the oil goes through, and it's about that big around, and if that get clog gets clogged up, then your entire engine will just, like, seize. Uh, now, you'll know that it will be happening before it does, because if you start to overheat, then, uh, that's one of the things you should check. But uh, inside this door here, it's really clean. And then, uh, you know, just need to vacuum down there and this car is completely good. You've also got this little compartment in there with the foam. There isn't one on that side though. Uh, also, you got two cup holders back here and a little area there. This has all the windows that roll down. And then uh, passenger side here. Got some storage down there, and uh, again, I just need a vacuum. If you set in here, this is what it looks like here. You got plenty of leg room, as you can see. Like glove boxes right here. You've got everything in there you need. And uh, yes, you can, you're sitting right next to the driver. Seat belts right there. And this is just one complete car, really. And like I said before, it has 108,500 miles on it. So yeah. All lights on the interior and exterior work. And uh, let me start this car up real quick. Right, so I can show you something really cool. Do this. Start that up. Check this out. sunroof. That's pretty dope. That's one of the cool features. It needs clean though. This entire car needs washed. Uh, there's a clothes bar back there. You can take that off if you want. And uh, yeah, everything just seems to work perfect with this thing. Now, let me show you under the hood. Under the hood, uh, you know, good engine, everything works fine. Uh, everything is actually really good. There's some coolant there. And, uh, yeah, you know, it j it's just a little dusty, but, you know, it just needs cleaned. Just like basically everything else on the car. And then it's good to go. You see there, there's no cracked pipes. And everything under here runs fine. 
and uh, it is a V6. So yes, I hope you did enjoy the video of this car, and if you guys want, I will come out with a video sometime soon of a 2012 GMC Acadia. So yes, stay tuned for that, and uh, go down and hit the like button. And uh, also, go ahead, let's play a guessing game down in the comments. Tell me what you think this car here is worth. I Kelly Blue booked it, and you would be amazed how cheap this car is. That's all I'm going to say. So throw in your guesses down in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys in the next car video. Or in the next video. Whatever it is. Peace out.